second tier, can you hear me? Speak a little bit louder. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good deal. Um, hey, you got rave reviews from your teammates uh, throughout training camp uh, just about how you performed. Uh, were you, I, I guess, pleased in any way? Did you surprise yourself? You know, um, I was pleased and I surprised myself. I could say both. Um, you know, initially I came out there with like a little bit of hesitation, you know, just uh, not really wanting to trigger anything or cause any setbacks on myself. But, you know, uh, early on in camp, I was able to push myself harder than I thought. And, um, you know, just as time came on and as my football shape improved and improved, I was able to push myself and get a little bit better each day. And Tavis, how did it feel to just get that confidence back and not have to really worry each each snap or set that you're taking that, you know, you might re-aggravate something? And then what was your off-season program? How did you kind of get working while, you know, all the coronavirus stuff was kind of going on? So I uh, started at Andrews Institute. Um, I was there for probably up until April. And then I went to Charlotte and I started with this guy's name's uh, Leon Knight at Move it, uh, Moving, blah, Movement Solutions in Charlotte. And uh, basically there until we reported the, uh, from May to the time we reported for camp, I was with him. And uh, he put me through so many things, just uh, mimicking football and, you know, doing all the drills that Chris put us through. So uh, I really gained confidence going into camp. So I didn't have to really, like, I still had the hesitation, you know, just being in pads and having other bodies flying around. But, you know, I was, I was very mentally prepared going into it. And then as far, what was the other part of the question? Um, it, it was that, that was basically it. It was it was just getting your confidence back in, in camp. How did that feel? OK. And yeah, that, that was basically it. it just felt really good. You know, just just being out there with the guys again, you know, building that chemistry, because that was one thing that I really missed my first two seasons. So uh, it was great, man. It's really great just being out there with those guys. We had some really, you know, great men and even better players out of those guys. So just being able to spend time with them, whether we're grinding out there with Chris or going against Kyle's offense day in and day out, it's just great being out there. Hey, Contavious, uh, Solomon was saying last week that he feels like now that you've been able to get back in the mix and really be a part of things full time, that you've kind of let your personality come out a little bit, that you feel like you're more like yourself. Is that true? Do you, do you feel more at home now? And is that just a function of being able to be back on the field and do what you love? Definitely. I couldn't say it better myself. You know, uh, my first two years just being on IR, I was, I was a shell of the self that I am now, you know, um, just being out there and being able to, to share in that grind that we're going through. Um, I'm able to, like you said, show my personality, you know, and try to pick the guys up when we're going through one of the tougher days or it's, it's hot outside, you know, so it's, it's been great. Tavius, you mentioned um, training at the Andrews Institute. Does that mean that there was any sort of follow-up procedure with your knee uh, at that point? Yes, actually, this uh, off season I had a uh, just like a little cleanup surgery on my uh, patellar tendon. Uh, I think it was in February, sometime around then. So I had a little cleanup, and uh, I think having that procedure really just helped me jump over the hurdle. You know, clear everything that's been going on with my knee, and just really be back at one hundred percent. Contavious, you had a little bit of time on the field last year. How much, how valuable is that as you go forward into this season? I think having those those few snaps that I had is really going to help the game slow down. You know, that was one thing that I really know is going into camp. You know, um, last year during during uh, OTAs, uh, things were just flying around, bullets everywhere, and I, I wasn't really able to focus on my technique. But I think, you know, playing that little time against the Seahawks and the Falcons, you know, really helped the game slow down. You know, I'm more confident in my technique. You know, I really understand our playbook and my role in the scheme a lot more. So I'm able to play a little bit faster, you know, understand where I need to be, uh, what gap I need to protect, you know, when I can be a little bit looser in my technique and not have to worry about things because other things are covered up because of the blitzes or whatever personnel we're playing in. So. It just really helped the game slow down for me. Hey, Contavious, obviously your first year, I'm sure you uh, expected to, to sit out. But um, when you came back last year and obviously you still weren't quite right, what, I guess, you know, how frustrated, upset, mad, uh, what were your emotions? Because um, I'm just guessing um, you knew you weren't quite yourself. 
You know, um, honestly, just being brutally honest, I was really starting to doubt myself if I'll ever get back to 100%. You know, it had been almost two years from the injury. You know, um, uh, we had the little cleanup procedure uh, right after fall camp last year, and I, I really thought I was going to be full go, full tilt, and then to have that setback again, you know, just really playing my mind with just a, a lot of thoughts and, you know, a lot of doubt. And I was just like, I really don't know if I ever get back to 100%. So it's, it's really, truly a blessing and just a, a, a testament to everyone around me, from the 49ers um, training staff to um, Leon back in Movement Solutions and all the way to uh, Dr. Andrews and his incredible staff. I'm just truly a product of all the people just pouring all the efforts into me. Davis, excuse me if you've, you've mentioned this already, but when, when did you uh, make the move full-time to, to play inside? I, I know you, it's been mentioned that you play a little bit outside too, but you were drafted as a defensive end. So when, when, did, that, when did that change happen for you, and, and when did it really start to click? It really started um, right probably about a month or two before I uh, came back and played like, at the end of the season last year. You know, Chris thought, you know, just seeing how I was moving and everything at edge, and I was a, a little bit heavy for a defensive end. So uh, he moved me in, and uh, it's been a great move. You know, I really feel like uh, just being able to be quick twitch and not think as much as our DNs have to do because they have a lot on their plate. So uh, just having to uh, – and I think as much, it really helps me play a lot faster. So I'm, I'm truly enjoying it. Two, two more for Contavious. Hey, Contavious. First, I just want to know, based off you moving inside, knowing that, did you have to add weight? And then I just want to know, now that you're healthy, what are your expectations for yourself this season? And what was one area that you really worked on improving this offseason? So as far as weight, I stayed about the same. I'm about 285, 290 in that range. Um, uh, Personally, I don't have any expectations for myself. I just want to go out there and play as fast as I can. And, you know, Chris has been, like, really hard on me just telling me, you know, don't go out there and don't be too hard on yourself. Just play as fast as you can and be the player that I've been in camp and great things have happened for me. So that's my exact mindset going into it. And uh, as far as what I want to work on, I just want to be consistent. You know, uh, I flashed a lot in camp and throughout um, our workouts and our drills and everything, but... You know, I have a, a great play, a good play, a down play. And it, that that was a trickling effect. And I just want to continue to be consistent and be great in my technique. David, so, uh, earlier you, you said you felt like you were kind of a shell of yourself uh, the past couple of years, just from a personality standpoint. How did how was that affecting your daily life, and how did you kind of get through that? You know, um, honestly, that's a great question. Um, I had a lot of just, like, days where I just – didn't feel like a pro athlete, you know, days where I just, I was just out of it. And, you know, I kind of let the injury get to me, you know, I, I kind of let it just take over who I was as a person. And, you know, um, my girlfriend, she did a, a great job just keeping me up in days where I was down, my family, my mom and everything. And uh, just like I said earlier, I'm truly a product of the, the great people that I have around me. And uh, without them, I, I truly wouldn't have got through this process. Last one. Hey, uh, Contavious, you – well, let me ask you, how much did you play defensive end in college? And, you know, John Lynch mentioned just because of some of the depth situations uh, they're having out there on the outside that you might be an answer uh, for that possibly early in the season. So, I guess, did you play that a lot in um, college and you're fairly comfortable doing that in the NFL? Yeah, so all four years at State, I was a field in, so I will go to the long side of the field. So I was in my entire uh, stint in college. And uh, at third down, sometimes they put me a three technique or nose so I could just rush the, you know, less athletic offensive linemen on their team. So I'm very comfortable outside or inside, you know, just put me wherever, honestly. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Thank you.